I was very excited to come to the States for my higher education. It was mandatory to have flu shot that year for everyone who came across from other countries so that you can get used to this weather. Thus, my initial experience in US involved with a nurse administrating the flu shot to me. She asked me, what's your name? And I said, Bhagyashri. And she said, what? And I said, Bhagyashri. And she made a weird face and said, what about last name? And I replied, Nakade. She thought I said naked and replied out loud to me and said, Miss Naked, please follow me. And this is how I began my journey in the United States. Aside from my studies, now I had two tasks to do. One was to find a scholarship and other to educate people how to pronounce my name. Believe me, I did not give up on my identity, but I was always welcoming to all these challenges coming on my way. Hello, everyone. I go by Shreen Akade and started my career right here, like most of you. I graduated with master's in construction management degree in 2018 from Bowling Green State University. I have been passionate about design and construction ever since then. My affinity for building and their design began at a very early age. As a child, I was fascinated by bird's nest in my backyard, always thinking how they have made it. How did they manage the whole process within time? I always believe that there is something extraordinary in them that enables them to understand the intricacies and complexities involving in those constructing those nests. I want to know how those birds communicate with each other and make this happen every season. There's a sense of compassion and understanding behind this, which drives them to accomplish this as a project. I was always wanted to explore those extraordinary talents that enables me to understand and fantasize people and feel the way I felt in my childhood. So I joined architecture as my first brick to build my nest. Seeing different type of nests from other birds and their constructability shows the number of possibility such a simple thing has. Just like various construction projects, we have list of disciplines to focus on. Our industry is vast, and so the jargons of our industry is even extensive. Just imagine, you are passing by these fancy structures. Now think about its architect and construction manager. How many of you picture women? These are all designed by architect Zaha Hadid. So let's break the stereotype that most of us have here by starting with how my everyday looks like here, right? I work in the railroad and infrastructure engineering industry. My previous job, had I had to be on the job site every day at 6 AM in Boston, Massachusetts which means that I would wake up at 4 a.m. every day since I had an hour drive to reach to my job site. It does not snow where I live in India. And driving in snow on a black ice at 5 a.m. was scary for me, especially because it was a brand new car and everything was paid by myself. I used to work with the crew, my crew members on updating the retrofit electrical houses. For those who do not know, what are those? Those are the small, teeny houses which are across the railway tracks, which feeds the electricity to the track. So every day, as the rail progresses, we change our job site to our next, next hut. I take construction job site as an adventure. Yes, it's a party every day at job site. We are all have, are treated equally, and there's one time bomb always ticking on us 
as a deadline. We all are in the same mission and with a limited amount of money. Having a period or going to the bathroom on these remote job sites was very challenging to me in the beginning. But since I had a great team, they used to fill my position for a while and respected my needs. I started my career as an estimator with a reputed construction company in Miami, South Florida. My first job involved estimating cost of a building by analyzing the area and performing a takeoff. Now, this is not a plain takeoff. This means that we estimate the building material using specialized softwares and giving estimated cost to our client. I was very excited about my job as it allowed me to work on multiple projects, visit different sites, and work in these fancy offices with all my exp expenses covered. I felt like I'm living in my dream. However, my promotion came with an offer to relocate me on a, onto a job site, where my team interviewed me for a project involving a well-known entertainment company located in Orlando. My manager said exactly these words to me. You are not the first American, Hispanic, or Asian. You are the only female here we hired on this job site. Now, I, would be, I was being very uncertain whether to feel intimidated or proud. I supported my team with all my American estimating experience and my Indian negotiating skills. Since we were going through a lot of changes that year during pandemic, I always felt safe and never experienced any harassment onto the job sites. And soon we became family in no time. Additionally, I received trainings like CPR, first aid, and self-defense techniques from our safety manager, who was previously served as a police officer. However, my friend in a parallel universe was also the only female on her job site. She was working with an equipment rental company and faced struggle with male crew members. One time, she fell off the equipment and her colleagues laughed at her. She was really upset when she called me. However, she persisted and addressed this issue in a meeting impressing everybody with her tenacity. Her manager also supported her and offered her to teach anything that she wanted to learn from that point onwards. By the end of the project, she became a superstar and everyone wanted to see her with her non giving up attitude. I was blown away from all the narrow thinking about who can perform well in this industry and deny all the myths and tradition, traditional gender stereotype that we have reading all these years on the internet. So how do we fit in this macho industry? According to Dozar, an equipment rental company reports that the gender pay gap is really small in construction jobs. McKinsey Co., a global management consulting firm has found that the construction companies with more women in executive roles perform better than those without. These suggest that women make significant contribution to these companies. And now more companies have positions available for them. The same reports also indicates that company with gender diversity are 25% more profitable. Additionally, a study published in BMC Psychology on multitasking shows that women outperform men in multitasking scenarios. Same study also suggests that men are slower and less organized when it comes to switching between the tasks as compared to women. Sometimes I feel very powerful, yet scared, because I'm building with someone's lifetime hardened money. And now I know that their hopes and dreams, everything is in my hand. 
we are not just growing buildings and infrastructure here, but also contributing to country's economy. I'm presently employed with a large scale construction company ranked top third as per construction engineering news record for 2022. Our company has a significant number of women in senior and team leadership positions. Interestingly, my direct supervisor is a woman too. And all the projects that I'm currently working on are headed by exceptionally capable women. This represents a new beginning, a positive shift in this industry. I see these women leaders displace empathy and understanding towards our team, resulting more collaborative work in the environment, which ultimately benefit, benefits the company. Every year, 500,000 individuals apply to come to United States, but only 80,000 are granted a visa for their higher education. Of these, only 30 to 35% are women, and very few want to explore their career in this particular industry. So I'm hoping that you could think about what a proper education and experience could do to this multi-billion dollar industry. So let me ask you a question here. If you are willing to shape the future of millions of people, where would you place your first brick? Chicks with Bricks is an initiative in London that promotes female talent that helps disadvantaged girls and young women to gain experience in construction by Holly Potter. In my case, Bird's Nest inspired me. I hope you find your inspiration one day too. And no matter where, what career path you go or choose, at the end of the day, it's you that matters. So one day, if someone asked me, what am I doing here in construction? I would just say, I was born for this. Thank you, everyone.